everyone! Welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video! Making sure this is working because it was showing that the mic wasn't working again on OBS. Happens when it updates sometimes. Anyway, from what I'm seeing, it looks like everything's working so I can go ahead and show you what I plan to open today. A Bolton's V Collection Box. Happened to see this at Target so I'm like, okay, let's get it. Mostly because there's one of Evolving Skies pack in there. If you can maybe see it, I'll show you after I open this up, okay? <laughs> okay, so now that we've got everything, I'll show you what packs we actually got. <laughs> Sorry, things are starting to stick together a bit. Now, as you can see, we have two Brilliant Stars packs, which are the most recent so far, though I know a new set's already out in Australia, thanks to the thumbnails for a certain channel that I watch. Fusion Strike, which I haven't opened that much of. And of course, the one I'm hoping for, Evolving Skies. <laughs> now, normally I go oldest to newest, but I think this time I'll go backwards. Though, of course, that's not all you get in here. Because we got the two promos. A Hollow Wooloo, which is so freaking cute for Evolving Skies. And it's actually part of the set. So I'm going to be happy on this one. And then we've got the Bolton V card. This one's an actual promo, so. <laughs> I'm like trying to... I once again get used to this because I forget it does reverse here so if I wanted to go right as I'm looking at it I need to move left and vice versa okay hopefully that was enough time to get the prices for those and also to show you the jumbo version of Bolton Wulu doesn't get one apparently as for why they're paired together I assume it's because Bolton is essentially a sheepdog Though it certainly doesn't look like any sheepdog you've probably seen. Or me for that matter, but... The herding part probably doesn't matter on the breed as much. So long as they can be taught. And there are a lot of smart doggies out there. <laughs> but you're probably more interested in the code card. <laughs> okay. There you guys go, I hope. And now we'll start with Charizard's pack. Might as well start with the character art that everyone likes. <laughs> well, almost everyone. <laughs> Remembering when I did that one opening before of the set. Which I can link up in the corner, you guys probably remember. Okay, another code for you guys. Because again, I don't do the online collecting. Because while it would be easier in some ways, if it's anything like some of the collector games I've done on Facebook, it'll be a pain in the neck. Anyway, Water Energy. I like the look of the trainer card, her energy cards in this one. We got Weavile looking like, is he going Batman here? <laughs> and we got a Starmie on the beach. Fresh water set. Well, water is important and even in real video games, it's a healing item. Piplop, always the cutie. Playing in the snow. And we got Shroomish. Fro. Cast form. Trapinch. Our reverse is Drudigan, which is actually not too bad, honestly. Especially since it's also a rare in this set. And then, hello, Mimikyu! I think I've seen this particular one before. Maybe in another set or something? Or maybe I saw Unless Leaf pull it in the Japanese version. Either way, this one is very cool for 3D art. Very realistic. <laughs> Gotta be one of my favorites for this Pokemon. <laughs> and the eyes are like the... <laughs> if you can see them... Right there, they've got 
literal hollow foil there. Like you used to see in very old holographic foil books from like the 70s or 80s. Okay, just quickly sleep this up. Because again, I want this to stay nice. Then next up is Whimsicott. And here's a code for you guys. And oop, maybe there's something in here because I'm noticing an odd look in the cards here. One, two, three. Huh? Um, okay. Um, is this normal, guys? I got a random V Star card here. Maybe this is what they use to make the, like, a little acrylic markers? I don't know. Can somebody tell me in the comments, please, what it is I just happened to draw? <laughs> For now, I guess I'll put it to the side. I'm like, okay, I guess that was the energy card. <laughs> that might explain a bit, but I'm like... Bloody hey, because that made everything confusing and put me, I put the rare in the front, so Warmadam is our rare, this plant-based one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, other cards include the Freshwater Set, Sigalith, Marnie's Pride, I'm like... Looks like she's ready for Jim, like the workout gym. Jim Char is a cute one. And part of the reason I go through these is because I think some of the artwork is cute and I want to show it off. I mean, like little go let duo here. <laughs> it's like, I'm off on adventure, Mom. And Mom's like, take care, be safe. And we got Corefish here. A very... Jojo's Bizarre Adventure looking sock. And of course, the reverse of Starmie. <laughs> like I said, I messed up thanks to the V Star one. I mean, that really threw me off. <laughs> Feels like it should have been a marker, but I guess it isn't. <laughs> okay, now, Fusion Strike is next. This one I haven't really opened too much of. Minus a few little blisters. So that's because they were already going gonzo by the time I decided to try and look for it. And here's a code card for you guys once again. Then one, two, three, four. And we've got Grass Energy. Cook! I actually like that one with the effect. Heal 70 damage from your active Pokemon. <laughs> Shows how good food can really be healing. My cargo. Charge bug. There's one we haven't seen in a while. Though I feel like this is a artwork that's been used before. Snum, same with this one. And we have Onyx. We've got Jigglypuff. <laughs> Not quite the seen from above one, but <laughs> the rant looking very fierce. Then we have Pansier shaking all the fruit out. Our reverse is Redna. And then, hello, Serena V. 
I've gotten too many from this dead eater, so I'm like, okay, nice pull. So that again makes me worried because there's usually like only one or two pulls in a box, and we've already got our two. So does that mean I'm not going to get anything from Evolving Skies? No, well, maybe first before I find out, put this in the sleeve and make sure I had a price on screen. There we go, don't want to bend the card. Okay, now. The pièce de résistance, evolving skies. I'm not good at French. Well, that's probably one of the better accents I've ever done in my life. Okay, code card for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to be quick because I'm like. Uh, let's just rip it off like a bandage. Psychic energy. Rubber gloves. Floet. Boost shake. Temple. Cutie fly. Applin. Sable eye. Being very creepy. Nick it. Our reverse is Galarian Moltres, so not too bad at least. And then a Gigalith. Regular rare, of course. Yeah, I should have known. Seems like when I actually try and look for something in a set, I don't get it. Yeah. And Evolving Skies is definitely hard to find at the moment. Because everyone's already moved on to like brilliant stars and the more recent sets. <sighs> but just give me a minute while I go and get the recap set up, okay? Well, this box wasn't too bad. I just didn't get what I was looking for. But that's to be expected. If you're looking for a particular card, it seems like you're more likely to not get it. Yeah, still, the ones we have are cool, like our two promos, Wulu Hollow and Bolton V here. So you get those for sure. And maybe you're like me, you'll get lucky to pull two V cards. We've got Serena from the Fusion Strike set. And then from Brilliant Stars, we have Mimikyu V. Looking very epic. <laughs> if you like the video and want to see more, make sure to hit the like button, okay? Don't forget to comment down below to let me know what part you found interesting here or if there's a particular set you want me to look for, such as more Evolving Skies. I can always try because, like I said, I am still wanting to get one of the Evolution alternate arts. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you can keep updated with all the videos I post. And until next time, I'm your host Christina, signing off.